Here in this video, we will see a problem on temperature, stress and strain. Here is the question. A copper tube, whatever is given here, I will write that in the form of data first. So in the given data, the first thing is, it is given that there is a copper tube. And since it is a tube, we know that it will be hollow section. hollow section having external diameter capital D, internal diameter as small d. Now, it is given that copper tube having 10 mm outside diameter and 8 mm inside diameter. So, capital D is 10 mm, small d is 8 mm. Next, and it is 100 mm long length. 100 mm is fixed at one end but there is a gap of 0.1 mm at the other end so this hollow tube is is being taken and it is attached in such a way that it is being fixed at one end and there is a gap of 0.1 mm at the other end so at the other end, there is a gap of 0.1 mm. Now, determine the temperature at which the gap will close. So the temperature at which this gap is going to close, that I'll denote it as delta T. If the temperature of the tube is increased, we have to find out when the gap will close at which temperature. How much stress will be induced in the tube material due to a total rise of 60 degrees Celsius. So, next in the next case, they are saying that how much stress will be developed if the temperature is rising by 60 degrees Celsius. Young's modulus and alpha coefficient of thermal expansion and contraction that is given. So, I will write their values. Now, this is the question we have. With these much data available, let us try to get the solution to this problem. I will write the solution onto the next page. Now, in the solution, since they are saying to calculate how much will be the temperature, which will close this gap, and the length of the copper tube is given that is 100 mm so we have to find out the temperature that will close this gap that is if we can see in this problem 0.1 mm is the expansion which is allowed so i can say that since the expansion allowed is 0.1 mm so therefore we can use the formula that this expansion allowed is nothing but I will denote it as delta L1 is equal to 0.1 mm. So this delta L1 will be nothing but alpha into delta T into L that is the free expansion. So therefore I want delta T I will keep delta L1 upon alpha into L onto the other side. Delta L1 is 0 0.1. Alpha value is 16 into 10 raised to minus 6. Length is given as 100. So from this, I will get my first answer of delta T. That is, it comes out to be 62.5 degrees Celsius. So this is the first answer. We have found out the temperature that will close the gap. So I will say that hence, there should be a temperature change of 62.5 degrees Celsius which will close the gap of 0.1 mm. Next, after getting this value, they are saying to calculate 
the thermal stress if the temperature change is 60 degree celsius so therefore thermal stress is given by stress is equal to strain into young's modulus this has come from hooke's law so therefore stress strain is alpha into delta t into young's modulus here i'll go on putting the values alpha is 16 into 10 raised to minus 6 delta t they are telling us to take the value as 60 young's modulus is 160 into 10 raised to 3 so from this i'll get my answer of stress which is 153.6 newton per mm square So this is the second answer so we can say that therefore stress induced in the copper tube because of rise in temperature of 60 degrees Celsius is 153.6 6 newton per mm square and the nature is compressive because the steel rod it will try to expand but the moment the wall is there there would be compressive force acting from both the sides that would result in the compressive stress in the copper tube so as we have seen in this problem there were two questions asked we had to calculate the temperature at which the gap will close and the temperature we have found out it was 62.5 degrees celsius and then for our temperature rise of 60 degrees celsius we have to calculate thermal stress the answer is 153.6 newton per mm square with this we complete the question